Welcome to the Lead Pedal Podcast with your host, Bruce Outridge, where he talks all things trucking. Now let's get rolling. How's everybody doing today? Welcome to another edition of Lead Pedal Podcast. This is episode number 1013. And today we're going to talk about what happens when you change trucks. Who cleans what? Ooh, we call that slip seating in the industry. We'll just talk about how to deal with that when we come back. So uh, stay tuned. Hey folks, are you an owner or operator looking for a place to call home? Well, Rims Transport is based out of Hamilton, Ontario. And that's right, they are a place owner operator fleet only. They run flatbed out of uh, Hamilton and they don't run much more than five to 700 mile radius. So if you're looking for a place that you can get back home on a regular basis, you can get good miles, they have a great culture for owner operators and they want you to succeed, then Rims Transport is the place to do that. Where can you learn more? Go to rimstransport.com. Make sure you tell them that the Lip Pedal Podcast sent you. And we want you to be successful. We know them personally over there, and we know they're going to take good care of you. you got open board, you've got uh, tandem US, you've got uh, multi-axle US, you got city, you got all kinds of positions available there, all over our Rims fleet. So if you want to be successful for 2023 and beyond, then get on with Rims Transport and tell them we sent you. All right, everybody, talk to you later. Go to RimsTransport.com. All right, so today's, uh, today's lead pedal Q&A uh, talks about changing trucks, and uh, who cleans it? When you... Uh, now this is this is this is common in the industry, okay? With uh, there's two different versions of this, okay? There's one where um, you're slip seating with somebody, which means you're sharing a truck with another driver, and uh, that is a uh, an ongoing kind of work relationship. And a lot of big companies have that, where you don't get a dedicated truck, you have to share a truck, um, and. Again, you want to make sure you're paired with somebody who's like you. If you're a clean freak, try and get paired with a clean freak. As long as both people keep their trucks clean, then it usually goes pretty well. There's a re- that's the reason a lot of drivers do not do slip seating. Uh, we've had so many horror stories in the past where people did not clean their trucks. Um, that a lot of drivers, as soon as they hear the word slip seat, which means we change trucks, you know, either every shift or uh, you share a truck, one person drives at night, you drive it during the day. That is uh, what we call slip seating. And a lot of drivers just stay away from that just for that reason. Now, what we're really talking about today, though, is when you get another truck. So a lot of times when you uh, sign on with a company, they have trucks there. Uh, if they buy a new truck, then a, either a more experienced driver or somebody who really takes care of the truck will get the new truck, and they put you as a new driver into the older truck. Now, hopefully, you're working for a decent carrier, and they clean this. Now, this came from a listener who said they swapped to a new truck, and the previous driver left them some treats. And I don't have the picture here, but the picture shows almost like, <laughs> I don't know what that is in that bag. Um Somebody said, beep, beep, beep. Uh, I'm just saying that because there's swear words there, but they say, beep, beep, beep. I'd call the boss and be like, clean this stuff up and have the truck detailed. Uh, Someone said, I'm not sure what's in the bag, but it's sticky and smells horrible. I'm scared to touch it. Uh, So uh, (laughs) I guess there was something in this bag, and this bag... Uh, turns out in the bag it was just gloves, a can of grease, and some other miscellaneous trash. It's red grease that's all over the bag, so it looked like a murder <laughs> scene. That's why everybody's commenting the way they are. Um, really, if you're with a good company, now not all companies do this. If you're with a good company, a lot of times they will what they call detail the truck. They will take it in for a big cleaning, change out the mattress sometimes, um, get it ready for the new person. Now. My experience is that always doesn't happen. None of the none of the tr- um, companies that I worked for did that. Uh, so they'll some companies will do that. They have a process for doing that. A lot of the large ones they have a process for doing that. I've worked for a lot of small mom and pop companies, and they did not do that. In fact, uh, it was up to you to clean it. <laughs> And I was pretty, I'm a pretty clean freak. So the first trip usually wasn't my nicest trip because I was trying to get used to the truck and trying to, once I got it cleaned, I was, uh, I was all right with that. I don't mind how old it is as long as it's clean. Now I have worked with, um, companies where drivers have not cleaned their truck. They, uh, have had it so dirty. Uh, one guy had, he had, um, McDonald's and stuff all the way up to the wind, the wind sill of the the passenger window um and then he hauled uh he hauled um what do you call those outdoor potty uh uh, outdoor uh potties on the weekend (laughs) so i'm starting to wonder like 
what the heck? <laughs> so nobody would drive his truck. I've had people where uh, when I was a supervisor, I had one driver who was a really heavy smoker. Nobody would get in this truck. So there's those kind of things where if it's a heavy smoking truck, then the company should get it detailed. Um or that's why a lot of times people just become owner operators, to be honest with you. So um, if it's really bad, I would report it to the company and say, listen, this truck is unacceptable and uh, you need to clean this up or have the other driver clean it up or whatever. Uh, if the driver was that messy, having them clean it up may not do anything because they didn't know it was dirty to begin with. Uh, if it's just, you know, could use a, a good dusting or whatever, well, then I'm willing to take care of that as long as I have the time to do that. Um, so as long, so it depends on the company. Um, again, if you're just being a driver, uh, you're in a small space. So being organized from the get go is a really good way to go. So you may want to make sure that you're doing that for sure. So, um, not sure that helped. What do you do? Uh, if it's really bad, I would report it to the company and have them do something about it. If it's not too bad, I would just clean it myself. Uh, but don't be one of those drivers that are, uh, not doing things right because it really doesn't help anybody <laughs> down the road. All right. So if you're a new driver and you're thinking about doing some training, here's where you should go. There you go. So uh, start there. That's a good place to start and keep your truck clean. <laughs> all right. That's another lead pedal Q&A. Please, uh, for as, as all of these lead pedal Q&As, we're giving you information that's general in nature. Please, um, you know, contact a professional if you need to. If it's something serious, like you need a lawyer or an accountant or something like that, please check with them before making any changes in life. We're just here to give you some general information uh, but keep your truck clean. You'll, you'll be a lot happier down the road. Hey, you know what? You want to find out where we are? Well, you know what? The easiest way to do that is to stick with us on social media. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can find me on uh, LinkedIn. You can also find us on TikTok. And uh, check out our Lead Pedal 1000 tour. That's right. We're trying to get all of our supporters to take a picture with the number 1000. You can write on a piece of cardboard, make a cake, whatever you want to do. <laughs> If you're a fan club member, there's an image there. You can use that as well. So I uh, hope to see you on the tour somewhere. Come by and say hello. We've been giving out swag, all kinds of stuff, and we'll catch you next time, my friends. All right, thanks for listening. Be good. Be safe. Hey, folks, in today's economy, it's what... This has been another episode of the Lead Pedal Podcast. For more information or to subscribe to the podcast, visit the leadpedalpodcast.com and be sure to follow the podcast on Facebook and Twitter.